All right, guys, so I wanna go ahead and answer another question that I get messages about all the time, and that is, how exactly do I insert a nose ring into my nostril piercing, okay? How do I put a ring in a nostril piercing? First off, I wanna start by saying, before you even attempt to put in a nostril ring, um, make sure your piercing is very, very well healed, okay? So at the minimum, two to three months before you try attempting to put in a nose ring, okay? Second, I'm gonna say, if you have the ability or the access to professional piercing in your area, go to them and have you help you out. They do it all day, every day. They should be able to do it pretty easily for you, okay? Um, but if you don't have that option, let's talk about that, okay? Uh, first things first, make sure your piercing is really well healed. Um, and then the second thing is, anytime you're putting any jewelry into a piercing, um, I always like to use some sort of lubrication, okay? So you can get, pick up like a water-based lube, um, you get that online, or uh, water-based lotion, um, a fragrance-free lotion, you know, those kind of things definitely help a little bit too. Um, I would say go more so for the water-based lube. If you don't have access to either one of those, um, just plain water will work, just don't do it dry, okay? Um, now, there's two different types of rings you can use, all right? Two different kinds of rings that I recommend anyways, for that matter. Uh, the first one's gonna be a seamless ring, and the second one's gonna be a clicker. Um, on average, 20 gauge 516s and 20 gauge 936s are gonna fit most nostrils. Every, it's like a shoe size, every slightly different, but 20 gauge 932s and 20 gauge 516s are probably the most common nose ring sizes that we sell, okay? Um, now, First ring is a seamless ring, okay? Now I have one right here. And what a seamless ring is, is it's a solid ring and it has a little part where the ring is cut. Now, how you're gonna insert is that you're gonna bend the ring open, okay? Now, always bend the ring out this way, never open it that way, okay? So you're bending it almost like an S shape. All right, you're gonna bend the ring open, put a little bit of like a water-based lube on there, and you're gonna slide it into the piercing, okay? Once you slide in the piercing, you're gonna evenly grab both sides of that seamless ring, and you're just gonna bend it right back. Now, when you bend it back, you can almost kind of bend it a little bit extra past the ring, and it should kind of snap back into place, okay? Um, definitely maybe kind of experiment and play with it a little bit before you try putting it in your nose, just to get the bending process down. Be really careful because if you overbend it, you can definitely create little warps and stuff in it that's not gonna keep it perfectly round. This is where with this style of ring, I kind of recommend going to professional peers and having them help you out with it, okay? But once again, it's also not rocket science um, and they're fairly inexpensive. So um, definitely you can give it a shot yourself and see how you do, okay? Um, last thing when it comes to this ring, just make sure your seam is nice and what they, this is the reason why they call it a seamless ring. Make sure it's nice and flawless. There's, you know, no parts of the ring is like uneven or sticking up because you don't want that getting stuck or trapped inside the actual nostril piercing itself, okay? Um, so seamless rings. These things are great, I love them, okay? We sell a lot of these. Next up, um, which might be a little bit easier option if you're you know, not feeling comfortable with the, with the bending of the seamless ring, is gonna be a clicker ring. Looks exactly the same, okay? The only difference is with this ring, we have a little hinge on there, all right? Now with that little hinge, should go without saying, but you just kind of click it open. Click it open, you're gonna put a little bit of your water-based lube on there, and you're gonna slide into the hole, okay? Once you get into that hole, all you're gonna do is just click it back together. There we go, so right back together. Um, if, if you're just looking for the easier of the two options, hands down, the clicker ring is probably gonna be a little bit easier for you. The only downside to it is, if you get really up close and, per and personal with it and look at it, you can kind of see a little bit of the hinge and the seam on both sides. Um, but honestly, man, if someone's that close staring at your nose, they need to take a step back. So, uh, but yeah, clicker rings, great option. Great option for you guys. So those are the two rings I recommend and that's pretty much how I would insert them. Um, hopefully that helped you guys out and answer any questions you might have about purchasing a, a ring for your nose or trying to put in a ring for your nose. Um, once again, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys next video.